Greetings YouTube audience and fellow homemade musical instruments enthusiasts. Moses here from Burrell Guitars. Today I am presenting a short tutorial on a string anchoring technique that provides a clean look to your cigar box guitars. By string anchoring, I mean the method by which the strings are affixed to the instrument. There are several ways to do this. I have used hinges as well as some other less sleek string through techniques. However, my favorite technique is what I call the recessed pass-through string anchoring technique. And now I will show you how I do it. The tools I use to create this anchor is a 1 8 inch drill bit, a 1 quarter inch drill bit, a 5 64th inch drill bit, and I also use string furls on the top and bottom of the pass-through holes. Since I use these furls, that's why I use the 1 8th drill bit to accommodate the additional diameter for fitment of the furrows. This process assumes you have already finished and fitted your cigar box guitar neck to your cigar box. So I will use a scrap piece of neck wood to demonstrate this process. So here's a piece of one and one half inch poplar which is what I commonly make my necks out of. I like to drill the holes no less than a half an inch from the back end of the neck. That allows room for uh, strap buttons. And I just find the center line and then measure in quarter of an inch from either edge. And that gives you the string spacing for a three string cigar box guitar. Now I'm gonna take the 5 64th inch drill bit and drill the three holes. These holes should allow string gauges to pass through up to 42 gauge. Typically when I build three string guitars, I use a 42, 32, or 22, or a 42, 34, 24 gauge set. Now, as you can see, I've added my one quarter inch drill bit. Now I will drill down the center of these three existing holes, but I'll only go down about a quarter of an inch deep.
So now, you have something that looks like this. Notice I did that on both sides. Now, you can actually stop at this point. So as you notice, I take a string, run it through, You notice the ball in just below the surface of the neck wood. And on the top side, comes out. So at this point, you're done. I'm gonna go ahead and install the fur rules just to show you the extra step that I like to add. Okay, now I've installed my 1 8 inch drill bit so I can bore out the correct diameter for the fur rules. And now, you have slightly larger holes on this side, which that will be the bottom. And of course, you still have the 564 inch holes on the top. Now, I'm only going to put the ferrules in the bottom half for this demonstration, but you can use ferrules on both sides. That's entirely up to you, or as I stated before, you can use no ferrules. So we're going to take a ferrule. Sometimes you may have to take something like a nail, press it down in. Add another one. There you go. So assuming this is the completed neck of your guitar, string down in I'll use the one on this side because that's the final hole I didn't drill deep enough and there there you have it of course the ferrules provide a little extra stability and when you come up through this side I'll use the drill bit for a bridge strings come up over and there you have it 
So as you see, this cleans up the look by keeping the ball end of the strings below the surface of the neck wood, adding a nicely finished look to the top. Also, the recess on the top side adds a bit more break angle uh, to where the strings pass over the bridge. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I will post more of my cigar box guitar building and playing tips as well as demonstrations of how I write and play songs for the cigar box guitar. Thanks for watching.